Hi, this is Orn and I'm Darren. Tonight we've come for a Perenican feast. Look at this food. We're in our Nang at a restaurant called Zama. They do an old school style of Thai food called Perenican food. Perenican cuisine, aka Nyonya cuisine, comes from the Peranicans, the descendants of early Chinese immigrants who settled in Southeast Asia and intermarried with locals. Peranican food came about through blending Chinese cooking techniques and ingredients with the cooking techniques and local ingredients in the areas where they settled. We've got five dishes here. The recipes that are used at this restaurant come from the grandmothers of the owner. We've got fried fish with Chinese bean paste, ginger and finger root, steamed tofu, stir fry noodle with clams in exo sauce, duck comfort with special Chinese red wine sauce, stir fried shrimp with shrimp paste. What would you like to try first? The noodles with clams. Some of my Thai friends recently came to this restaurant for a birthday and a number of people commented at the party that they hadn't seen this dish for years. Rice noodles and there's a dark sauce there. Mm. Yeah, it's sweet, a little bit salty, but in a good way. A bit spicy, soy sauce flavor in there. Clams are deliciously moist. That is tasty. Bits of garlic in there as well. Mm. I've had this before and loved it last time. Loving it again. You try this dish out. Next, a fish. It looks delicious. Can see lots of soya beans on it. Big, big chunks of fish and brown sauce down the bottom. You like that one? It's very juicy. Mm. What do you think? You can taste the ginger in that. Good blend of flavors there. Ginger, soybeans, the fish is nice and moist. Tastes a bit like an oyster sauce, not spicy at all. That fish is delicious. It's exceptional, I love that one too. Steamed tofu next. Looks like minced pork and bits of shrimp in there. And there is a tasty looking sauce. Cut some of that tofu. It's got a bit of a thick shell on it. Mm. It's a very Chinese style sauce there. Most tastes like Chinese rice wine. Not a fan of tofu. Not a fan of tofu. Try this, you might like this. <laughs> no, no, one's not a fan, but I love this one. Some tofu with that pork as well, and the sauce. Quite like that. Looks amazing, very pretty dish. Cleaning up all those clams there. I think I'm gonna try the duck, because the Duck looks pretty good. Big chunks of garlic on the top and some shallots. Slice a bit of that off. Looks good. Some of that for you. And some for me. Hmm. 
good flavour in it. Not the most tender duck I've ever had. That exo sauce is delicious. Slightly spicy, a little bit sweet, almost citrusy that one. The duck, good flavour that bit actually. It's a bit more tender there, I've got a thicker piece. Do like that. We have one more dish. In some other Southeast Asian countries with Peranakan food, this one is known as Sambal Yutang Pad Thai. It's got Pad Thai or stink beans. You can see kaffir lime leaves there, some good looking prawns, and also some banana peppers and bits of onion. Yes, they are big shrimp. I don't know if we can fit any more on your plate there with all the shells. Good looking prawns and the stink beans. You can also see some garlic in there. Prawns are cooked in their shell generally in Thailand because it helps to seal in the flavor better. It's a little garlicky, a bit spicy. The shrimp paste is pretty subtle in this one. Not a real strong flavor. Got a bit of a mouth burn going on there. And then the sator. You wanna try sator? You ever tried before? Nice and crunchy. These have a completely unique flavor. They're like nothing else I've ever tried before. Some of those noodles before they all go. I think I know what your favorite dish is. What was it? I want fish. You want the fish. I actually forgot about the fish. Mm. Like this one, Tina. Yeah, that would be my pick as well. The fish and the duck. Noodles also really enjoyed them. It appears you did by the number of shells that you got there too. Tofu, I am a fan of. Very unique flavor in that sauce. Then the stir fried shrimp with shrimp paste. Did quite like that one as well. They've very kindly given us a dessert to try as well, which looks delicious. Some sort of jelly, icy cold, got ice in there, and it looks like long and clear jelly. Same like lemon jelly. Mm, the jelly is pretty subtle. Mm, the liquid has the lemon flavor in there. No, I think jelly, yeah. the lemon. You can taste the lemon in the jelly. I can't taste the lemon in the jelly at all. I think it's a long and not a long con. That goes well with the lemon flavor. It's nice and sweet, and the sourness of the lemon counteracts the sweetness. That's delicious. You've given us a drink to try, some uh, Tom Yum. No, it's not straw. Yeah, not straw, <laughs> no. Oh, it's lemongrass. Tom yum. Does it taste like Tom Yum? Mm. Mm, it's like a soda y type drink. Can taste yeah. Lime and you can taste kaffir lime. Beef. Yeah. Do you try this out if you come? The interior of the restaurant is fully air conditioned, but they also have an outdoor eating area as well. They've got about 65 dishes in the menu, plus some Peranakan desserts. If you're looking for some different Thai food that you won't see at many other restaurants, do try this place out. Delicious Peranakan food here. Great meal, yeah? Mm. Great dining experience. We've been here many times before. They get exceptional reviews as well. I know you will love it as we do. For more Krabby food videos, click up here. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.